so Ryan Tannehill is 30 years old now, and there still is a question as to whether or not he's good. It's really fascinating to me. I mean, you know, sometimes it's cool to see these great players just break onto the scene and be a super effective, but sometimes it doesn't really end up happening. Tannehill was drafted with the 8th overall selection back in the 2012 draft, however to this point, he's kind of had his ups and downs. Looking at his stats throughout the 2018 season, there's one thing that absolutely jumps out at you. It's the fact that in his best two games, he had an average of 13.19 yards per attempt, which is crazy. Meanwhile, in the rest of his games, he averaged 6.14 yards per attempt, which is not very good. So what made him so effective in those two games that made him below average in the other games? How did that work? Well, let's talk about this play, for example. As you see, he's going up against the cover one hole, and those are the routes that his receivers will be running, and the one route in particular you're going to want to take a look at is that route right there. Tannehill on this play is going to be a thing of beauty, as he reads the play, watches his receiver until he's open, and makes a throw at the perfect time, and hits the receiver for a touchdown. This is a fantastic play by Tannehill. Granted, against some better defenses, maybe that receiver doesn't end up getting open. However, that receiver got open, and Tannehill was able to hit him for a touchdown. One thing worth noting is his stats against the Raiders did get a little bit skewed because of this play right here. Miami is going to have their center, left guard, and right tackle have one-on-one -on -one matchups on the three Raiders who are in the middle of the screen right there. Then they can send a two other offensive linemen and a tight end up to block the three other Raiders in that area. And what they're actually going to do is send their half back up to block that last Raider in the area and then swing a receiver over to that side of the screen who's going to then run for hopefully a lot of yards. So Tannehill literally throws the ball about two inches forward and the receiver takes it the rest of the way for a touchdown. So again... This isn't exactly the best throw you will ever see. I mean, Tannehill does basically nothing on this play, and yet still gets credit for a 70-plus yard touchdown pass. So, the numbers got a little bit skewed because of this one play. However, Tannehill still can make some good plays. Like on this one, for example, once again, it's a cover one hole, and those are the routes that Dolphins will be running, and the one route in particular you're going to want to take a look at is that one right there, as once it gets past that initial zone in the middle of the screen, it could be open. Tannehill reads the play, has enough patience to wait until the receiver does get open and then hits his receiver with a very good pass for a first down. So I just wanted to show that that's what Tannehill is capable of. He can make some absolutely great athletic plays, but that doesn't mean he can do it every single time. Like on a play like this, for example, he's going up against a cover one linebacker blitz and these are the routes that his receivers will be running. So the first thing he's going to do is look to the receiver who's at the bottom of the screen and is going to be cutting to the middle of the screen. Which actually isn't a bad move, especially against the cover one linebacker blitz that the Bengals are running. However, as you see here, that receiver doesn't end up winning his one-on-one -on -one matchup too well, and he isn't too open. But he ends up throwing it there anyways, and it's nearly intercepted, and honestly, probably should have been intercepted. It's just a play that never should have happened from Tannehill. Let's take a look at this next play, and as you see, first things first, Miami's going to send a man in motion to the bottom half of the screen. And because the Bengal follows him, and also because of all this obvious communication going on on Cincinnati's side, it's going to be pretty clear for Miami that it's going to be man coverage on this play. And it actually is in fact man coverage, as it's the cover one hole. Those are the routes that Miami's receivers will be running, and that's the one route in particular you're going to want to take a look at, as while it is kind of in the zones right in the middle of the screen, it's not exactly in those zones, and it could end up working if the linebacker in charge of guarding that zone doesn't end up going too far to the right or too far back. And one way they're going to try to guarantee that the linebacker doesn't in fact go too far back is by having a receiver run in that direction, which is now going to force Cincinnati's linebacker to stay in that part of the screen. Because if he didn't do that, the guy who's initially in charge of guarding that Miami Dolphin isn't in great position, and then Tannehill could easily throw it to that Dolphin for some easy positive yards. So this now means that there should be a gap in coverage right there, and there is a Dolphin running in that direction. However, one problem with this play is that the Bengals' safety does a very good job of reading all of this, breaking in, and making a play on the ball. He delivers a hit and doesn't allow the Dolphin to make the catch for a big game. This is one of those plays where there's a lot going on and it's tough to blame a quarterback for not being able to make a play like this. However, if you are a 30 year old veteran quarterback, you should sort of know what's going on in a situation like this and know that you have to make the throw a little bit quicker and you have to do a better job of not staring down that receiver which then wouldn't allow that safety to break in and make a play on the ball. This is a total nitpick, but let's be honest, that's kind of what I do on this channel. This next play is another good example of something that just should have never happened. This time it's a cover one robber, which is essentially the same thing as a cover one hole, except for the fact that it's a safety covering that middle of the screen instead of a linebacker covering that middle of the screen. And as you see, those are the routes that the Miami Dolphins will be running, and there's two hook routes on the bottom half of the screen that are great ways to beat man coverage, and even better ways to beat this kind of coverage because they're away from the middle of the screen. So if you take a look, one Dolphin is nowhere near getting open, so that route is straight up out. However, there is a dolphin that does a decent job of getting open 
And it's also worth mentioning that the Bengals' safety does in fact go to that side of the screen. So the receiver running a go route on the top half of the screen is now in man coverage on a go route. So Tannehill is at the last second going to decide he's going to want to try to throw it there. However, the problem is, he really doesn't have time to be making that kind of throw. He's already on the run, and so making a throw that far probably wouldn't happen anyways, and really, he should have just tried to throw it to the receiver who could have been open, or just throw the ball away. Instead, he tries to do too much, and ends up getting hit from behind, and loses the football, and ends up resulting in a Cincinnati touchdown. Sometimes I feel as though when things get too complicated, Tannehill can start to struggle. When things are basic, he can be as good as any quarterback in the league, like on a play like this for example. It's pretty simple. Miami's going to send one receiver to the middle of the screen, and then send another tight end over to the right side of the screen. It's essentially similar to a pick play. It's not going to be a straight up pick play, where it's not going to actually be a block on this play. But the receiver can simply just get in the way of that defensive back, and give him a little bit of space to allow this play to work. Tannehill is able to move on the run, deliver a strike, and are able to get a touchdown out of it. It was a well executed play by Tannehill. The reality is, I don't think Tannehill is a dumb guy, but he probably isn't on the level of a Tom Brady. However, I do think that athletically, he still is very good. Like on a play like this, for example, he's going up against a cover 2 zone, which is perfect for Miami, as they're running a route concept that's designed to beat cover 2. What they're simply going to do is have a receiver run an out route on the top half of the screen, which is then going to force the safety to run to that receiver's route. Then they can simply send another Dolphin in that area who could end up getting open for a touchdown. If you take a look, another Patriot actually does a very good job of abandoning his assignment and running deep, which he wasn't supposed to do on this play, but because he realized the situation, he still did and made it a much tougher play for Tannehill to get the ball to that receiver. However, Tannehill delivers an absolute strike anyways, and it doesn't matter how good of coverage you're playing, that's not going to work against a play like that, and Tannehill was able to throw for a touchdown on that play. He's really a talented player, and this one's another good example of that. As you see, he's going up against a cover 2 zone, and those are the routes that Miami Dolphins will be running, and that one route in particular is the one you're going to want to take a look at, as there is a gap in coverage right in that area, and if Tannehill can fit it through that window, it could be a touchdown. However, the problem is, as you see, it's a very small window to try to fit it through. And things are going to get even worse as pressure gets to Tannehill, and he's actually hit as he's thrown. There's three bills right in that area, meaning this window is very small, and it has to be basically a perfect throw for it to be a touchdown, and also has to be timed perfectly, which is really tough to do. However, Tannehill does exactly that, and it leads to a touchdown. He makes plays like that, and you say, man, this Ryan Tannehill guy is a great quarterback, and then he'll go around to make a play like this. This play is about as simple as it gets. I actually talked about this play in my Adam Gase video that I made a couple weeks back, but I think it's worth mentioning when it comes to Ryan Tannehill as well, as it was a good play design by Adam Gase that Tannehill just didn't do a good job of executing on. It's a pick play, really, where they're going to send a tight end up to block a linebacker, and then send their halfback out to the top half of the screen, who could end up getting wide open. And not only could he end up getting wide open, but he does end up getting wide open. I mean, this is an easy touchdown for the Dolphins, and Ryan Tannehill, for whatever reason, just doesn't throw it there. He ends up throwing it to a different receiver who isn't able to get open, and it falls incomplete. I think Tannehill just hesitated and was hoping he could find a better situation, but really, you're not going to find much better situations like that. It just wasn't a good play from Tannehill. So I guess now we've established it, right? Now we know what makes Tannehill good, and now we know what makes Tannehill bad. It's all been decided. Tannehill isn't great at making reads, but he is a great athletic quarterback, right? Well, not really. Unfortunately, in football, it's often not that simple. Like, on a play like this, for example. As you see at this point, it's very clear that it's man coverage, as there's three defenders up on the top half of the screen, and only one on the bottom half of the screen, and each are lined up against the receiver. So, unless this is a really clever disguise, which would then lead people way out of position, it's almost definitely man coverage. And of course, it is in fact man coverage, as it's actually going to be a cover one linebacker blitz. And what Miami's going to do here is send her three receivers out like this, and take a look at the bottom half of the screen, as they're going to send one receiver out to block an edge rusher, and then send her halfback out to the bottom half of the screen, as it's a standard pick play, which should allow that halfback to get wide open. Tannehill reads all this well, throws it to the correct guy, but the throw just hung up a little bit too long, and the safety was able to run over and make a play on the ball. So while I showed a lot of examples of Tannehill both making bad reads and being a good athlete, this was an example of Tannehill making the right read and just not making a great throw. While I still would say that I put his ability to throw the ball ahead of his ability to read defenses, it's worth mentioning that not every quarterback always makes a perfect read or always makes a perfect throw. Drew Brees misses passes and Tom Brady misses reads from time to time. It's all about how consistently can you do it. And the reality is, Tannehill can do it somewhat consistently. The way he's able to make these plays work sometimes and not make them work other times is because he's a decent to mediocre player. He's in that weird zone where he's not the best quarterback in the league, but he's also not the worst quarterback in the league. He's kind of in no man's land a bit. Do I think you could win a Super Bowl with Ryan Tannehill? If you had the right pieces around him, sure. Do I think Ryan Tannehill is going to win you a Super Bowl? No, I don't. The reality is, the reason why people can't decide whether or not Tannehill is good or bad is because he's neither. He's solid. 
He's a decent quarterback that you'd like to have on your team, but he's also probably not the type of quarterback that's going to be going out and throwing for 500 yards in a playoff game. We live in a hot take world where every quarterback is either the GOAT or trash, but I think Tannehill is sort of in the mediocre range, and I'd like to know if you guys agree or disagree, so let me know.